Hey, what's up everyone? This is Kenny here at uh, KP Dev Design. And today I'm going to show you guys how to install the uh, Xtheme demo content. The first thing you need to do is install the, uh, the theme, which you can do under Appearance and Add New. I've, I have already installed it. I have the child theme installed and I have the actual theme installed. Um, I suggest you guys use the child theme because whenever you want to make changes to your your X theme you, sh you, you only make the changes in the child theme versus having to make changes to the to the actual theme and what happens is you're gonna lose all those changes whenever they update the theme which is every like month or so so I suggest you guys use the uh, child theme now the child theme you can actually just Google it simply by googling X theme child theme and you go over here oh, actually let's put that X together with theme enter click here and you should be able to this actually shows you how to install the child theme but it's so simple go to the child theme page and download the child theme go back to your um, home page and then just upload the X child theme and activate it you have to have both of them first you install the X theme and then you install the child theme activate it and you're good to go so the next thing right after you install both of these themes you have to do this process in order to get all the uh, essential, you know, important add-ons and everything else that comes with this um, amazing thing. You have to register. Once you register here, if you haven't, just enter your information here, follow these instructions, and you should be good. In my case, I've already done this part, so. Um, and so now I can skip this and get my product um, API key <clears throat> manage my license and here I got my API key so let's generate a new one and this is for here's my license Yeah, I guess I could use the same one, so let's do that. Um, <coughs> just enter it here. Submit API key. Okay, successful. That's great. So now I'm able to come over here to extensions. Let me just make sure that this actually works. Yeah, I have everything. Congratulations. Alright, so I'm good to go. So go to my extensions and um, I can now install all the required add-ons or plugins that I need. Um, in this case, I need this one here, the short code. It's very important. Plugins installed successfully. Let's go back. And for now, that's all I need that one was mandatory so that one is installed and then you have all these other add-ons that you can, you can use in the process of creating your website so you can um, for example the visual composer what it does is it um, enables you to drag and drop like images or um, containers, div containers, um, and and like let's say um, text containers, and you're able to do that much quicker than having to code it. But I prefer coding it and using the standard um, composer. 
Okay. So let's go ahead and check and see uh, the demo content here. You over here. And simply uh, click whatever it is you need. In my case, I like to have my uh, posts and the portfolio items all together and standard without the visual composer. And we're going to do uh, integrity one. So let's do that. Let's just click, click yep here. This shouldn't take so too long, so let's go ahead and navigate to pages there you go we have everything we need let's let's look at this really quick the home page preview changes and this is what the integrity home page looks like okay well it looks like I already have some content in this page let me do this control X delete that for now let's update it and preview it so we're going to preview changes let's see what it looks like now so now it's empty let's go to the portfolio page and you see all we have is like placeholders here and all you need to do is just add the images you need and the links and configure this and it's going to redirect you based on where you want it to redirect you. So now I already have code because I've created this in, the, um, in my other page. So let's see what it looks like when I enter the code. So let's update it. Preview changes. Let's see what it looks like now. So the home page looks like looks really nice, right? Everything's there. All these images make makes it look a lot better. And you have a nice image here. That's when you scroll up, it scrolls up, you know. And then you have uh, the bullets here. It's pretty cool. So the way I like to set up this page is to take the right sidebar out and the way that I do that is I go over here and I use the blank no container and update it and go to preview changes. You have to click here. If you don't then it's not going to update. You can't just press F F5 here. See, so now the the right sidebar is gone, and it looks like it just captures your attention as soon as you log on. You know, as soon as you you see the website, it's pretty cool. So now, what I want to uh, make make work now, what I want is the uh, slider. I want to uh, without the slider, the page is kind of. You know, it just, just feels like it's missing something. So let's go ahead and add slider. So go to. Looks like I haven't installed slider yet. Let me go to my plugins and check check it out real quick. Yep, I haven't installed it yet. So let's go to add all extensions. <clears throat> the one I like to use is the Revolution slider. Let's see. Here, this is the one I use. So let's install this plugin. And plugin installed. And just refresh this page by clicking on dashboard. It should come up here. Here it is. So you go to Revolution slider and it's empty now but you can import sliders by clicking on this and actually this should be demo slider content here somewhere okay so let's let's just import a slider 
by simply uh, you can actually just Google this. I have already installed one with this website here. Where is it? Um, Revolution Slider Templates. And click here. And here you get a whole bunch of sliders for free. Let's just um, use a full width slider. Um, we're going to download this one just for the heck of it. And show in folder. Um, I want to get it um, where I can find it a lot easier. So usually I have a, a, f a folder set up for this stuff. Let's go into my X theme, just paste it in here, and then copy this real quick. Um, So let's import the slider, choose files, and it's in here, and it's the Woo Plus slider. So we're going to open this and click import slider. Okay, so that worked. So now what you need is to copy this information here, right here, and go into your home page. Home page edit. And change this part here. Update this. And preview changes. And let's check it out. There you go. See? It's pretty cool, right? Alright guys, so this is a video on installing demo content and we did a little bit more than just installing demo demo contents. We actually uh, we also installed the slider, so that's uh you know that makes your website uh, look a lot better, so that was a plus there so thank you for watching the video if you guys have any comments please leave the comments below and I will get back to you guys as soon as I can so enjoy thank you